Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Avidyne unveils Vantage Flight Display Systems. Also, Textron decides Denali will be a beach craft. And a new world record for longest e-flight in a production EAC. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Avidyne unveils Vantage Flight Display Systems. Avidyne has taken the wraps off the long-rumored Vantage flight display systems and disclosed that their first Vantage certification program will be a dual 12-inch diagonal upgrade for legacy SR-20, SR-22 aircraft with the Integra flight deck. Avidyne Vantage features synthetic vision hybrid touch user interface, dual AHARS, MFD reversion, and much more. Avidyne's first certification of Vantage displays will be as a retrofit for SR-20, SR-22 aircraft equipped with the Integra PFD and MFD flight deck. The Vantage PFD for the SR-20, SR-22 will be very familiar to the current Integra owners in terms of ease and methods of operation with a minimal transition learning curve. The Vantage MFD will provide full and split-screen displays of maps and flight plans, Jeppesen approach charts and airport diagrams, multiple user configurations, editable data books, checklists, and will share much of the same operational user interface as the popular IFD 550, 540, 440, FMS, GPS, NAV, COM systems. Avidyne Vantage will interface with existing engine instruments and SIU for engine instruments displayed on the Vantage MFD, or with newer DAUs that add primary engine instruments displayed on the Vantage PFD. After the break, a replica of a 1913 flying boat will make its debut at Oshkosh. I'll tell you which one after the break. AirVenture may be your destination, but shouldn't you also have a great experience during your flight to and from? Battle Creek Executive Airport is the home of Waco Aircraft, the world's leader in new production sport biplanes. Enjoy a beautiful new FBO, extreme fuel discounts, a glimpse into Waco's manufacturing facility, and the gourmet Waco kitchen, an upscale dining experience serving farm-to-table American-European fusion cuisine. Experience AirVenture. Experience Waco. We'll see you on the ramp at KBTL. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Williams International improved FJ33 5A. The Williams International FJ33 5A engine has been awarded type certification and production certification by the FAA for an improved hot high thrust rating. By optimizing the thrust profile to deliver up to 20% more performance at takeoff, the latest evolution of the FJ-335A elevates the newly announced G2 Plus Vision Jet capability, providing access to additional airports at popular destinations around the globe while offering exceptional fuel efficiency and quiet operation. The Lark of Duluth Flying Boat to debut at AirVenture. The replica of the 1913 Larth of Duluth Benoist Type 14 flying boat will debut at the 2021 Oshkosh Air Venture. The replica will be exhibited with the 1903 Wright Flyer replica and the Curtis A1 Pusher Sweetheart in the Pioneers of Flight area at the EAA Aviation Museum. 
The Dulles Aviation Institute donated the 2013 replica to the EAA Aviation Foundation on December 3rd of last year to preserve and exhibit this significant aircraft for the public and in perpetuity. Air Transat pilots vote overwhelmingly to ratify agreement. Captain Pierre Lassard, chair of the Master Executive Council for the Air Transat pilots, released a statement acknowledging the ratification of their latest letter of understanding with the company. We are happy our pilot membership has voted overwhelmingly in favor of this new agreement with the company. LOU 29 approved by 87% of those who voted means over 470 pilots are finally able to get back to work after 16 months of being grounded. Airbus delivers first A350 from China Wide Body Completion Delivery Center. Airbus has delivered the first A350 from its Wide Body Completion and Delivery Center in Tianjin, China. The A350-900 aircraft was delivered to China Eastern Airlines, the largest Airbus operator in Asia and the second largest in the world. At the end of June 2021, China Eastern Airlines operated an Airbus fleet of 413 aircraft, including 349 A320 family aircraft, 55 A330 aircraft, and 9 A350 aircraft. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Textron decides Denali will be a beachcraft. Textron notes that it is realigning so that its turboprop aircraft lineup will include the single-engine Beechcraft Denali. This bird will join the twin-engine Beechcraft King Air 260 and King Air 360 ER as part of the company's twin turboprop lineup. The aircraft development program continues to progress towards a first flight anticipated later this year. The Beechcraft Denali is designed to outperform the competition with projected lower operating costs, G3000 avionics, and what may turn out to be the largest cabin in its class. The aircraft is engineered to achieve cruise speeds of 285 knots with a full fuel payload of 1,100 pounds and will have a range of 1,600 nautical miles at high-speed cruise with one pilot and four passengers. The Beechcraft Denali development program has achieved multiple milestones throughout the past six months as it continues to gain momentum towards its first flight. Earlier this month, the first full authority digital engine controlled GE Aviation Catalyst engine was installed on the first Beechcraft Denali prototype airframe and the aircraft was powered on for the first time. Engine runs are anticipated in August, followed by a first flight for the aircraft projected for later this year. After these messages, a world record for the longest flight of an electric aircraft powered by renewable solar energy. I'll have those details after the break. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. Beam Global reports that it successfully set the world record for the longest flight in a production electric aircraft 
powered by off-grid renewable solar energy, proving zero emissions aviation is here. Starting in Fresno, the Pipistrelle Alpha electric trainer aircraft flew 227 nautical miles over Central California with stops in Madera, Merced, Modesta and Lodi before following the same flight path back to Fresno. Beam Global partnered with pilot Joseph Oldham, a founder and CEO of New Vision Aviation, to make the trip possible. EV ARC electric vehicle charging equipment was rapidly deployed at several airports and in some cases relocated to support the multi-leg flight, demonstrating that airports can support the electrification of aviation without construction, electrical work, or large utility charges. I'm thrilled we accomplished our record-setting flight. This is a defining summer for sustainable aviation and for establishing the Central Valley as a forward-thinking region for propelling the electrification of aviation ahead at an accelerated pace, said pilot Joseph Oldham, founder and CEO of New Vision Aviation. Nonprofit New Vision Aviation sees California's Central Valley as an innovation hub for the electrification of aviation and oversees educational programs for disadvantaged youth to inspire and train them for careers in clean aviation. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to comment with story ideas or just to say hi. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.